Come on. Uh, something I'll always remember. Uh, I didn't realize it was going to be 400 games until a week or so ago, two weeks before the, the actual event. Um, it's kind of a big deal, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good accomplishment uh, showing that I've had a long career and hopefully I can continue. Did you celebrate on Friday? Um, not really after the game. I uh, just came home and uh, relaxed and because uh, we had a game on Sunday night or Sunday in Oldenburg, so it wasn't too much to do other than get my rest after the game, especially that being 37 years old now, that's, that's the most important thing. Yeah, right. You are uh, 37 years old, but um, what is your secret? How do you manage to keep up so fit? Um, just a lot of stretching, um, eating healthy. Uh, my wife takes good care of our family, uh, preparing good meals and healthy meals for us. Um, yeah, just staying in shape and in the off season also doing things like yoga and uh, core exercises and uh, things like that that uh, help me at this point in my career to stay uh, healthy. And that's the most important thing because I have the experience and. Yeah, I'm not going to get faster, I'm not going to get quicker or jump higher. It's just a matter of staying in good shape and um, continuing what I've done throughout my career and that's be, be consistent. Well, I, I always enjoyed coming to Bond playing when I was on opposing teams because um, the fans let me, let me hear how much they disliked me or, or whatever, but this was actually motivation for me and I enjoyed coming here to play because it's better to go somewhere and be recognized and booed and do that than have nobody recognize or care about you at all because actually I must have been doing something right or the team was doing something right and we had a great rivalry with Bamberg and Bonn in the past. So I think uh, this is always a question of, yeah, a love-hate kind of thing. So it's... You know, just part of the nature of the game. They're going to support their team and, and dislike the opponent. That's, that's the way it is. You know, there's a great tradition here. There's a great fan support. And, you know, the people come to watch us play and they pay the money to come watch us play and support us. So you have to uh, give something back and, and show them that, uh, yeah, that you're going to fight. And maybe you don't win the game or win every game, but as long as you you fight and give your best, you can look at yourself in the mirror at the end of the day and say, I tried my best, but you know, sometimes you don't make your shots, sometimes you don't do everything perfect, but uh, as long as uh, you do what you can do, I think that the people will appreciate this and they will come back and support uh, support the, the team and, and players. I can always give more. Um, there's always some, you're never going to play a perfect game because if you end up playing a perfect game, then uh, then it's time to retire, but uh, I mean, I'm always trying to give my best and lead by example, and I think, uh, you know, guys are, are seeing that, and sometimes you just have lucky bounces one way and not so lucky bounces the other way when it comes to some of the games we've had, but uh, there's no excuses. Uh, we, Like I said, we put ourselves in this situation, and now we have to try and dig ourselves out of it, and uh, yeah, we just have to deal with it now in the last six weeks and go on from there. We had a good performance in Oldenburg uh, and against Dussel, uh, against Bayroid. So I think if we can carry and can continue this this fighting and uh, attitude, then I think uh, we'll have some good chances. But like I said before, it won't be easy. Am I aware of it? Maybe uh, subconsciously, because I am the oldest guy on the team. I have the most experience. Um, people look up to me for leadership or um, yeah, support. Do I really think about it? No, I don't think about it. But uh, now that you've asked the question, of course, that's maybe why uh, I feel that uh, I have to show this and give 
the the 100% out there on the court uh, to the fans because the fans have supported us throughout the whole season uh, through the ups and downs. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see what happens and what uh, decisions will be made. Like I said before, we enjoy it here. We like it here. And um, we'll have to see uh, what direction they're going to go in. But, uh, yeah, I'd like to finish the season up strong here and then uh, uh, go from there. Would you like to stay in Bonn? Yeah, if, if the situation is good. And um, I don't think anybody has a contract right now for, for the next year, coach including. So we'll have to see what decisions are made at first at the top and then uh, what kind of team they will try and put together. But uh, like I said, we do like it here and you know, we'll wait and see what uh, opportunity there is. So it's not your last season to play basketball? No. As long as I'm healthy and enjoying myself and having fun, that's the most important thing. And, and I feel like this, so uh, I can continue playing one or two more seasons. And this is what my plan is and my family also, they're uh, supporting me and behind me 100% on this.